5.3 Transformations of the unit square in the XY plane using matrices. This is part of my ultimate revision guide for GCSE Further Maths or Further Maths GCSE. Um, it's in the, in the matrices section. If you want to go back to the index matrix, press on this button, it'll take you back to that. If, you, if I've done any exam questions that are on this topic, I'll put them down here so you can use those to practice with. Okay, so. Um, it's very limited what they're going to do with uh, the, more, the transformations of using matrices. Um, it's going to be limited to the unit square, so we're talking about a square and what's happening to that. And we've got these transformations that we can do. So let's actually just run through what these transformations are. So rotation is through 90 degrees. Now when, you, when you're doing transformations in matrices, all you're really interested in is in these two points in the, on this square, A and C. Where do they go? And if you can say where A is going to go um, and give its coordinates as a vector. So currently um, A is 1, 0 um, and C is 0, 1. Now if we can say where that's going, so for example in a, a rotation through 90 degrees clockwise A moves around down to here which will be down at 0, minus 1 and C moves around to where A is, so that moves around to where um, is 1, 0. So A has moved to 0, minus 1, so uh, that's 0, minus 1, and C has moved to 1, 0, 1, 0. So that gives you the matrix that transforms um, points so they rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So all we do is work out where A and C have gone and that gives us our matrix for our transformation. So that's a 90 degree clockwise rotation about 0, 0. That's always going to be about the origin in these questions. Okay, 180 degree rotation. Well, this A is going to go over to here and it will be at minus 1, 0. And then uh, C will actually come all the way down to the bottom here to 0, minus 1. So A goes to minus 1, 0. So the first column is minus 1, 0. C is going to go to 0, minus 1. And that is the matrix that will give you 180 degree rotation. Doesn't matter which way, because 180 degrees is the same both directions. So that's the 180 degree rotation. And a 270. Well, A is going to end up at C, and C is going to end up over here. So A is going to end up at 0, 1, so 0, 1, and then C is going to end up at minus 1, 0, and that's a 270 degree rotation, about 0, 0, and that's clockwise. Now, if I want to go anti-clockwise, then these are just going to be reversed. So 90 degree anti-clockwise is the same as 270 degree clockwise. Um, then we've got some reflections in the axes, so if I'm reflecting this in the x-axis, A stays the same, so um, A would still be 1, 0, C would jump down to here to 0, minus 1, so 0, minus 1. So that is a reflection, reflect in x-axis. It has to reflect in the y-axis, so this one then A jumps over to this side, C stays the same, so A becomes minus 1, 0, so A comes over to here, and this one stays the same, so that's 0, 1, so that's the reflect in the Y axis, uh, and then we've got the lines X, Y equals X, which is this diagonal line, where all the coordinates are the same, and what's going to happen there, A is going to jump to C, and C is going to go to A, so let's actually do these up here, so a is going to go to 0, 1, it's going to move to C, which is 0, 1, and C is going to move to A, which is 1, 0. So that's your reflect in y equals x. And if we want y equals minus x, which is the diagonal line going the other way, so this is coming down. Use the line. Okay, so the line going down that way. So where do the points go? Well, A comes down to here and C goes over to there. So A goes down to 0, minus 1, so 0, minus 1. 
C goes to minus one zero. So that's a reflection. Gosh, my writing's poor. In y equals minus x. Okay, and then we're just left with some enlargements. Enlargements are are really straightforward. You just take the unit vector. If you want a scale factor two enlargement, you just double them. The unit vector. Unit vector is one zero, so you have uh, zero one. So you just have two zero zero two. So that's a um, enlargement. Enlargement. Scale factor two. Center always on zero zero or the origin. Um, if I wanted it um, to be a half, there would be a half. If I wanted it to be a negative scale factor, I'd just change that. So if I wanted minus 2, minus 2, that would make make it a scale factor of minus 2. Okay, so that's that's um, that's all the possible transformations. So just thinking about where these two points move to tells you what the uh, transformation is. Um, Okay, what else we need? Positive and negative scale factors, so that's, you should know that from normal for a higher GCSE maths. Can it should be expected to understand notation A dash to mean the image of point A? So when A is moved somewhere else, we denote that with an A with a dashed. If it moved twice, we might use A double dash and so on. You probably should have come across that. Um, invariant point, invariant points are just points that don't move, um, but we don't need to know that, so that's not important. And we don't need to know about i and j vectors, which is uh, more of an A-level topic. Um, the unit vector is i is i is just one zero, and j is zero one. So it's in fact these a and c. But we don't need to know that either. So that's it. That's transformations. Um, that's the basics. Let's have a look at some questions on that. Okay. So if you want to have a go at these, um, stop the video and then. Um, have a go and then I'll come back when you're ready and finish it off for you see what it looks like okay question one a is one zero c is zero one our opposite vertices of the unit square so that's just setting it up setting the question up the square is mapped onto this under the transformation matrix this work out the coordinates of a dash b dash and c dash okay so um, a is um, a is equal to 1, 0, B is 0, 1, C is 1, 1, and uh, O is obviously the origin. So we want to work out the images, we just do this matrix onto this, um, onto each of these. So we do just standard matrix multiplication. These two multiply by these two, so 0 times 1, and then minus 1 times 0. Actually gives us zero, and then one times one and zero times zero is one. So a dashed is equal to that, and then we do b. Let's actually put the dash. b dashed is going to be equal to this one times zero one, and we got zero times zero and minus one times one, so that gives us minus one. One times zero is zero plus zero times one is zero. So that's our B dashed and C dashed. Oops, C dashed is going to be um, so minus one times one is minus one, and one times one is one. Okay, here we go. When you've got the zeros in here, you just ignore those points because they're not going to do anything. So we're just looking at the minus one times one, or the minus one times one, and one times zero, one. Ignore the zeros. Okay, so that's A, B, and C dashed under that transformation. The matrix M represents a reflection in the line Y equals minus X. Work out M. So um, what I would do there is I would draw myself a quick sketch. There's my two important ones, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Y equals minus X is the diagonal line. Um, going through here. So where do our points move to? Well this one reflects over to here and this one reflects over to here and this is my, uh, 0, minus 1 and this is minus 1, 0 so this one is our first one so that's going to be 0, minus 1 
and this is the second vector minus one zero. So um, yeah, there we go. The matrix M is equal to three I. The square geometric, the transformation represented by M. So three I is going to be three zero zero three because I is one zero zero three a uh, zero one. So three lots of that is going to be that, and that's that's just a uh, enlargement scale factor three center zero zero okay so that's um, transformations uh, once you've got the idea of, of the transformation just being where these two points go to written as vectors it does make it fairly straightforward <laughs>